G'day, welcome to another episode of Country Life on the Coast. My name is Sean, and on today's episode, we're going to try and fix a leaky shower. Quite often there is maintenance jobs to be done, and one of them is leaking taps. For this shower we've been trying to fix for a little while now. I've replaced a couple of the washers. So I've tried both of these sorts and had no luck. And then after replacing the washers, and it might fix for a short period of time. So then I did the reaming it out, basically cleaning out where the seat of it is. And I've got it pretty good, but there is one quite thick groove in there that I just can't clean out. Um, and so hence, you know, put a new washer in after cleaning it out. And it might work for a, a short period of time. The last time I did it was only a couple of days ago and it worked fine for a few days, didn't leak, and then all of a sudden, it's dripping like crazy again. For me, that hasn't worked. So what I'm gonna try today is this. And what it's supposed to do is actually basically make its own thread in there and then put some new seats in there so that the washer, the new washer you put on, will sit on a new seat and that should seal properly. So, never used this before, I uh, just bought it, but we're gonna give it a go and try and fix this problem. The first thing to do is to make sure you turn off your main water supply. So, I'll duck downstairs and do that now and then we'll come back and get into it. Okay, so the main water is turned off. So we'll just turn this cap on, just to drain out any of the water that's still there. And I always just turn on another tap as well, but just a bit lower than it, hopefully, uh, just so that minimise the amount of water that comes out of the tap itself as well. So there's all sorts of different taps, but these ones here, they just have this outer um, cap, basically. So you can just pluck that off. out the way and then there's like this nut that's on this outer ring it just has two grooves in there and I find that if you just use a screwdriver you can normally get it to undo quite easily and the only other thing I would suggest is either put something in the drain so that you don't lose anything There are all the bits and pieces we really need. Now, this whole assembly now will unscrew, and depending on your setup, there's a couple of surfaces there that you put like a socket or something on. But I've got this tube spanner set, which I find works really well for this sort of thing. Please get the right size. Remember, there may be a little bit of water still in behind this tap. So as we take this out, oh, okay. thought there might have been some water come out. No, that's good. Difficult to see, but there's still a groove there that I was talking about before that I just can't get out. That's why we're using this new tool. This is the tool that has two new seats, which obviously I need one of them. And then this is the tool that will create the new thread. Uh, this screws into where the tap actually came out of to basically make it seat correctly. And these are just the adapters to fit on here, I believe, to then screw it out. So we'll get this out and start hopefully doing this correctly. Right, so... so yeah, that's how that'll work. This will screw in as though the, the handle was going back in. And then this will screw in and create a new thread based on that. 
need to put some more oomph on it, we can. Alright, let's uh, screw this in and see how it goes. Alright, I'll just screw this one in here. Turn this to create a new thread apparently. Now the instructions just say to screw it in and create a new thread. But when I did my apprenticeship years ago, when we did some cutting threads, I always said you go a bit and then just go back to cut and um, to remove the burr in it basically. I'm not sure if we need to or not, but that's what I'm doing anyway. I'm going to take that out because that felt like it went home. That's why you put plug down there. Thankfully I've done that. Listen to my own advice. Hopefully, it's really hard to get on camera. You can see the new thread that's been cut in there. You can see all the shavings that uh, are left in there. So I'll get a bit of paper towel and we'll wipe that out. Clean it up, have another look at it. And then we should be right to screw everything back in and put it back together. this in this becomes the new seat for the washer um, I did just spend a bit of time cleaning out all the off cuts in here just to make sure that there's nothing there because yeah, the rubber washer will actually roll in on that seat and I didn't want it picking up anything either that might damage it so just get this in here but they thought ahead There we go, and now we have a beautiful new seat that we can put our new washer in on. And hopefully that will stop our, fit, our leaking problem. Alright, so I'm going to use one of these washers that I've been told are meant to work really well. So that just goes back in there and the tap assembly just screws in. And in case I didn't show it clearly before, so we have this outer cover with a spring on it. And then there's this white piece that slides onto the shaft and it can go on one way and then the handle goes over the top of that and so this is what actually grips on the handle again it's got to sit in the right spot come on there we go and then the well, I'm calling it a nut for a no better term that just goes on there and if you have the right tool and maybe my tube spanners might actually fit over that um, you can nip that up that way but it doesn't have to be really tight you just need to have it tight enough so that when you're undoing and doing this it's not undoing that otherwise you'll be in the shower one day and the, hand, the tap handle will come off wouldn't be nice
Well, there we go. So I've just gone downstairs and turned the mains back on. So we'll check that water's coming out. Because we drained that water out earlier, it will probably spatter and whatnot a bit first, but that's okay. So a very simple install. We'll see how it goes. I might report back in a few days and see if we're happy with it or not before I put the video up. Like I said, quite a simple installation. Hopefully that's all the problem was. And we've set that seat properly now. Um, time will tell. It's been a couple of days and I've found that it hasn't worked 100% the way I wanted it to. The tap is still dripping a little bit. So I've done some more reading up and I actually found there's some proper instructions in the packet uh, hidden down the bottom, which I should have looked closer earlier and then read the instructions. Uh, there was one thing in the instructions that said that I didn't do and that was just flushing it out first. So, so after you've used the tool to cut the new thread, what you're supposed to do is put it back together without a new washer in it and that will flush all the, the brass shavings basically out of the system. Um, and so I didn't do that. I just put the washer straight in and just flushed it. And so what I think, well, a couple of things. One is I think um, some of those brass shavings might have got stuck on the washer. Um, but also what I found is some of the brass shavings have got stuck in the top of the shower head as well. So we've been trying to clean those out because the shower uh, has just been spraying really funny because of that. So that's just a, something you'll need to be a, keep in mind. Um, I did try and clean out all the brass shavings first and I couldn't see anything else in there, but there was, there was obviously more in there. And there's also, I read that um, it should put some thread tape on where the new seat screws in. So that's it, definitely what I'm going to do this morning. Um, I'll pull it out now and I'll show you what we're going to do. tap all apart and the washer as you can see it does have some bits of brass shavings in it which is sort of what I expected to see disappointing but anyway so I'll have to throw that one out and put a new one in uh, I will check in there too, make sure that there's nothing else that I can see now that I've used the shower a little bit as well the other thing I'm going to do is this is the new seat that I screwed in and what I'm going to do is put some thread tape over here to help seal the thread because what I realized is that uh, the rubber or the gasket that sort of seals up against the old seat, well the old seat still has that crack and everything in it as well. So water could be coming around those threads and then because it's not seating properly as well, otherwise uh, the old tap washers would have sealed properly. So I think I'll put some thread tape on here, put this back in, put a new washer in, and hopefully that will be it. Alright, so we've got our thread tape on here now, so we can now install it. So I only have these round ones this time. So I'm going to put one of these in as the washer. I have used them before and they have worked, so we'll Give it a go. Well, I've just gone down and uh, turned the mains water back on. And so now when we turn this on, and then turn it off really easily, don't have to put much force on it, and, or much force at all, and it stops straight away. So I'm really happy with that. That's sort of what I was hoping for the first time. But anyway, we got there. So I went out and bought this HydraSeal kit. This is not sponsored or anything. It's just me finding something to try and fix my tap. And overall, I'm really happy with how easy it is. Everything comes in the kit. So you don't have to buy other bits and pieces as well. Um, disappointed myself for not looking properly to find the instructions initially. That would have saved me some headache. But there was nothing in the instructions about putting thread tape on that. 
and maybe if the seat itself was nice and flat uh, you might, you probably don't need that but the reason you put well the reason I was putting this in was because of those grooves that I couldn't get out so putting this red tape in as well has fixed that up so um, overall awesome tool really simple to use like I said everything's there and it works a lot cheaper than having to get a plumber in and you know the, the, if you've got to replace this you've got to pull your tiles out um, massive massive job so that's sort of the last resort and I, I didn't want to go that way with this house so much cheaper fix this was about $45 I think and I'm sure I'm going to use this other one that's one of the taps in our place at some point in time as well uh, it's sort of inevitable when you have an older property but that's all we've got time for in this episode thank you so much for watching please hit that like and subscribe button that would be awesome and we'll catch you next time. God bless.